Good morning, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to check in with you before we have our worship uh, a bit later. Um, it's going to be weird not being uh, with you uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the building as we gather together. Um, but we still are going to celebrate that God is good. And I hope that you will be joining us uh, online if you can. Uh, I woke up this morning with a, a, a familiar sense of anxiety this morning as I have done for the last week or so. It's been extraordinary times, hasn't it? Um, and uh, the temptation is to look at the latest news about all the people who have, um, all the people who've got this, this illness, all the people who've died, uh, and to get overwhelmed. But this morning I chose to, as I have done for the last few days, start my day with um, looking at uh, the daily prayer app on uh, on on my phone and I was staggered but how relevant this morning's Bible reading uh, was uh, for us and so I just wanted to read it to you because it just it's just a wonderful reminder that God is good this is this is today's Bible reading for the Old Testament uh, on the common worship daily prayer thus says the Lord he who created you O Jacob he who formed you O Israel do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. You are precious in my sight and honoured and I love you. Do not fear, for I am with you. What uh, encouragement that is. God knows all about what we're going through. So much so that words written uh, over two and a half thousand years ago speak to us today. I just wanted to share that brief encouragement. Uh, I better get off because we've got a service to prepare for. Do join us at 10 as we'll be uh, put in, uh, showing the service that we've, we've done for you this morning. Uh, join us uh, in lighting a candle for hope in your window at 7. Uh, people up and down the nation will be doing that. And uh, let's remember that our God is good. He speaks to us today and he's always with us. Do not fear, he says. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. That will never, ever change whatever circumstances we go through. See you later. Bye. <laughs>